Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most kind. Hello and thank you again for watching our brand new show, Out of Focus, where we discuss important controversial topics about Islam and um, the topics about our youth and our generation today. This is a show where we speak out the voice of the youth and we speak about extremely important, sensitive, controversial um, topics about um, teenage behaviour, generally the society um, and the teenagehood today. Also, we put an Islamic perspective into the topics where we talk about how to become a better Muslim. So thank you for watching. Today, we have two brand new guests joining us. Please introduce yourself. Assalamu alaikum. My, As name, um, my name is Sabiha Islam. And um, I'm currently 17 and I'm in my first year of sixth form. Oh, that's great. What are your favourite subjects? I would say history and English. Is it? Oh, what do you dislike? Um, I personally really don't like maths because yeah, I can't really get my yeah head around it and it's just really difficult for me. It's yeah. very complicated, yeah. isn't it? Well, that's great, Sabia. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Thank uh, you for having me. Oh, thank you. Oh, um, thank you for uh, coming. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Uh, please introduce yourself. Assalamu alaikum. My name's Warda and I'm 13 years 13 old. 13 years old. Oh. And um, what school do you go? I go to Westlip High School for Girls. It's oh. in South End. South End? Oh, yeah. is that where you live around? Yeah, I live in South End. Oh, that's great. Um, what are your favourite subjects in school? My favourite subjects are probably science because I like to see the practical sides of science and also science can really be involved in your yeah, life. it's very interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I love science as well. Me too. I'm really good at it. So that's um, my two guests introduced. Sabiha and Wadda, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. So today's topic is health conscious. And this is a very extremely important topic, which basically revolves everyone. Because health is literally the number one pr 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 priority that you should be um, concentrating on. Eating a balanced diet and exercising is vital for being healthy, isn't it? it yes, is, yes, I agree, yeah. Literally. Yeah. If you're not healthy, then you're basically close to dying. Yeah. That's what you are. Health can lead to lots Men of problems, I think. Yeah. Diseases like mental such as cancer, um, cholera. Yeah. cholera. Uh, really bad diseases, isn't it? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think it's important to remain healthy as well because in this day and age, it's really hard and it's really actually easy to get addicted to Junk um, food, isn't yeah. it? A lot of so teenagers today. Exactly. Uh, um, a lot of teenagers today are eating, going chicken and chip shops, eating sweets, chocolates, and not eating vegetables, w drinking water, or exercising. Yeah. And obesity is a big problem for teenagers today, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's really yeah. easy to get addicted as well, as we see on television. All the advertisement, what are they? Oh, about McDonald's, KFC. KFC. It's just outrageous. It's just yeah. we need to we need to yeah, take need to take, take hold of this. Yeah, and we need to make sure that we look at what we're eating and yeah. we take a notice of what we're eating. I think sometimes we don't even notice. We don't even notice. It? Like we're just eating it. Speaking from my point of view, we go every Sunday. I can let you know we go out and eat Sunday to restaurants, whether it be like Indian or um, Italian. It's just it's just not good, but we do it without knowing. So I think yeah. we should just, you know. That's true. So I think yeah. that's a mental problem as well. Addiction, yeah. it's you're forcing your mind to like yeah. that particular food. Yeah. And then you keep and eating it, and then when you don't eat it, you want to eat it more, want, yeah. isn't it? And in an Islamic perspective, health, being healthy is literally, um, you get swabbed for it, because you're taking care of Allah's body, isn't it? You're exactly. taking care of the body Allah gave you, and that makes Allah happy, because you're... Um, being clean inside because your body is um, in good healthy condition and you're clean outside as well. Yeah, and you're also following the actions of the Prophet wasallam because he even said to lead a good life healthy. So as long as following the Prophet and you're following your own lifestyle being healthy, then you can't go wrong, isn't it? That's right. That's, yeah. And then um, 
Apparently, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi used to exercise with his wife, Aisha. Yeah. He used to go out. He used to go out, yeah, exercise, yeah. It is this extremely important, isn't it? It's very, it's, it's painful. It takes effort. It takes time. But at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to be healthy. You're the one that's going to live a longer from life. It. Yeah. Exactly. The Prophet yeah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a perfect way to lead the life. Yeah. He's an example. He's literally the perfect role model who never made mistakes, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a perfect example of how to lead our life in the perfect way. Yeah. So the fact that he did go exercising outside is really important yeah. because if you look after yourself and you go out exercising and you take your family out like he took his wife out, it shows that you're keeping your family healthy and you're also keeping yourself and healthy. And you're following his actions. Yeah, which and you're yeah, following his actions. Well for, isn't it? yeah, so absolutely. it's very, very um, a positive thing to do, isn't it? Absolutely. So please just try taking some time out of your um, busy lifestyle and just take even, some time yeah. to uh, exercise. Literally. Even just walking 10 minutes, low, if you go to a school, you could just walk to yeah, school. Sometimes the bus. The bus Everyone yeah. takes the bus, isn't it? You, yeah. yeah, and sometimes the bus even takes long. Why not just walk with your couple exactly. of friends or even just ask your dad, Tad, can we just walk today? Be, yeah, yeah, and then but why don't you just go to the park and jog or something? Yeah. Yeah, mm. there's loads of things you can do to exercise yeah. and being healthy. And yeah, in this day and age, there's loads of facilities. So I wonder how a the profits are. A yeah. lot of facilities, literally. It, yeah. Leisure centres, basketball, sports club, football, everything in the park, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, um, yeah, so even to say that the Prophet um, Sallallahu went with his wife, where there was no gym at that time, just shows that they were determined to become healthy and just, you know, implement this yeah. to the outer greater world. So. Yeah, so do you go gym? Well, um, I guess I think I went to before I got my braces, but Is now it? that it's exam season, I don't go much. But oh, I try to, you know, that's remain really good, mashallah, yeah. in a I healthy used to go diet. Gym, but it's <laughs> too much effort. Yeah, I can't do it. It's very extreme. Exactly. Exercise, isn't it? But you can take basic steps just to. Basic, yeah. You don't have to straight right to the, you know, yeah, weightlifting. There are thing very. Um, yeah hard exercises that, that are available in the gym but obviously gym costs money you do not have to go to a gym you can just yeah. literally free exercise go on youtube just type in workouts yeah you should it. just get a mat or something like that exactly. from Flymark yeah. or something sit at home you know yeah just exercise it's, it's very good isn't it yeah i think so exercising is also the th the fact that we're saying go outside and jog or go to the gym i think it's sounds really bad to someone who doesn't like exercising yeah. so um, there yeah. should be other options so there should like be intake what you eat yeah. you should just like exactly. buy food, do something that you yeah. like so let's talk about food then food today mm, yeah so you see all the your, your teenagers today are literally bombarded with all these pictures of food and um delicious foods isn't it like kfc mcdonald's yeah. you can't like yeah yeah, so you so you just, just tempted to eat that, so you buy it and then you um, keep buying it and keep eating all these negative bad foods and then you you stop eating vegetables and all the healthy foods, making you obese, which leads to another bigger problem because eating too much fatty and carbohydrates uh, make you fat, to which heart disease. give you heart disease and it leads to um, high cholesterol levels in it. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's just. It can lead to so many disorders. So many disorders, isn't it? And then yeah. we just die at the end of it. So is it so really worth it? Is all yeah. of these foods really worth it? It's, I think it's more about controlling your temptations because yeah. It's, yeah. it's a really good value both from the religious point of view and also from any, anyone. You know, anyone should be able to control their temptations. You get it from the other topics that... Um, You've just yeah, as well. about like um, 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 covering yourself, to getting tempted to um, wear something that's not suitable. Yeah, for Islamic getting thing. tempted to getting attract tempted someone, to just, yeah. especially at this age. I think it's getting quite normal. Getting tempted to sin, basically, yeah. because yeah, yeah, getting tempted to do any sort of sin. It, it links to this. Yeah, getting it tempted does. for food. So just because um, eating in a bad way doesn't give you. But sin, it's, it's it just like, it's yeah. harming you yeah. ultimate, um, ultimately. Yeah, so. it's, not like, it's, it's not, it's, it's not it's sin a to eat a burger basically, basically. a halal burger. But you it's should know your limits, yeah. so like it's how you practice. address it. Eating, yes. eating 10 burgers might be a bit If you can control much. yourself to not eat a burger, 
then you can probably control, control yourself. yourself. Not to yeah. get tempted by other Islamic things that are kind of sinful, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. So yeah. yeah. It's and a good practice that yeah. you should continue, not yeah. just today that I've spoken to you and mm. you've heard it, that you control it today and you don't do it tomorrow. You have to try and push yourself. Yeah. And I think it's a yeah. really good skill, um, even in school as well. It is very hard though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I think, not it's not, yeah, I think it's not to say, oh, not don't giving. eat chocolates, but just, you know, exactly. know yourself eat when you should. Eat chocolate, eat chocolate. You can eat chocolate. We're not stopping from eating chocolate, but just limit yourself in it. Don't eat five chocolate bars like, like that. Just eat one chocolate bar. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. And you can go like a slow process. So if yeah. each day, yeah. if Reward each day yourself. you have 10 chocolate bars, then tomorrow oh, you have ten, nine. That's a bit too much. Well, some no, but if some people, people really. yeah, some people, yeah. And chocolate's so nice. You chocolate don't know the feeling. So nice. yeah. Chocolate yeah. is beautiful. So ten chocolate bars. Next day have nine chocolate bars, and then next day have yeah. eight chocolate bars. You don't have to immediately just hop on yeah. a diet and just go crazy. And don't go crash dieting either. Yeah, because, because that's unhealthy. Yourself well. is that could lead oh, to many things. Awful. Anorexia. Anorexia. It's a mental eating illness. Eating disorders. Yeah. And yeah. when to you grow up, up to be skinny, and then but then if you want to be skinny, why don't you exercise and you be exactly. skinny instead of starving yourself? That that's the easy Because that's the worst instead thing. Instead of starving you're, yourself, exactly, you're, you're or doing your too much exercise and thinking that you'll lose weight, yeah. go to a certain limit. If you know that you are of an average weight and you are and you have that weight weight limit, which you shouldn't go beyond. So you shouldn't go. You shouldn't be too. You shouldn't have too much weight, yeah. and you shouldn't be too weightless. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean. just in the middle. Yeah, just in the middle. Yourself, just in the middle. Literally. Like Islam isn't too strict, and it isn't too easy. Yeah. it's the middle path. So, like here, I think it applies everywhere. Try the middle path of Being your weight like as well. Excess of, of something is the worst thing you can do. Always be in the middle. Because if you do too much of something, that's too much of studying or too much of um, yeah, nothing goes anything, in, yeah, and actually, you won't benefit yeah, from it. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah, just study just ways that you can stuff. stop that. Don't think, think positive about yourself because be optimistic person. Yeah, isn't it? don't be, be a pessimistic person. Just, yeah, just have a positive view of life. Because because last day, last time we were talking about a glass. Yeah, I imagine it was half empty. Like, like what would you see? Is is it half empty or half full? Half empty. Pessimistic <laughs> person. Yeah. So I guess that can change, it. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes being pessimistic is all right because you want to push yourself to get yeah. the more water. You want to yeah. get more water, and it yeah. gives you a drive to go further. Yeah, For being example, is something you have good, to yeah. know the wrong, the ro right and wrong. So it depends what you're thinking about. If you see a gl half full yeah. glass of water, yeah, that might half motivate half you to yeah. just yeah. fill it up instead of. You shouldn't just be half happy. Half full. Yeah. It sh you yeah. shouldn't just be happy with half full. You should go for all, uh, of, it. all yeah, of it. Yeah, so that's true. It if you've got it's like a, a C grade, then you shouldn't be happy with a C grade. I'm not just saying that you totally shouldn't be happy. Yeah. Aim for but the highest. Aim, aim, aim for, for the, the highest best. and be more optimistic and drive yourself forward yeah. to get a higher grade. Literally Absolutely. work hard. Uh, with, with that, drive yourself to um, become healthy and eat a balanced diet and exercise. Yeah, I guess all, it all yeah. relates. It all relates, isn't it? The same... Um, things you have to do basically so that's food and health um another thing i was going to talk about is skinny models and stuff yeah on magazines yeah. and billboards that does um create effect on loads of teenagers today it's unbelievable yeah. it does create effect on lots of teenagers today and t uh, uh, especially teenage girls isn't it? Absolutely, even islamic yeah. uh, muslim, muslim when girls. when you look at media you have yeah. to think that media is not always right. That's really important. The, the photos are especially photoshopped. especially for Islam, because what media represents of Islam is actually not the true the true story of Islam. Yeah. Islam is a beautiful religion. It's a beautiful religion, literally. It's but media focuses on the terrorism of Islam. Yeah, that's, oh, that's not a whole new topic. Yeah. Oh gosh, so that's I think not media Islam. And if you relate yeah. that to the yeah, skinny the models, models, you have they're to not actually, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to. It's fake. Literally, it's fake. 
They um they literally look um yeah total totally different in real life than to they, what they look like. So they're adopted to look these a certain people way, yeah. who have been these models are facing so many difficulties. Exactly. And now even in France I think I heard on the news that they're choosing fashion models who have a weight in the middle, not too overweight and not too and doesn't have a really less weight. So I'm not saying go grow up and be a fashion model, but you have to think that you have to know the right and the wrong, and the wrong is copying fashion models. You have to see who and you have to admire. Yeah. Yeah. Always, always, always remember that our, per, our the one we should follow is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And um, if we do like want to wear something that we see, like um, maybe a crop top or shorts, always remember to think about our modesty and our um, yeah. Think about would the ourselves. Prophet's wives wear that? Exactly. No. Yeah, yeah. And also, it's about yourself as well. It's about keeping your respect and your dignity. Yeah. I would say I have friends who wear shorts, and yeah. they're, well, they're they're not, Muslim, they're not they? Muslim, but they wear shorts and they wear crop tops. But really, when they go outside and there's um, don't, don't get boys and them, basically don't get yeah. influenced by them. Yeah. And there's is there right? And they're trying it, to yeah. show out show their skinniness. Really, if they go outside, who is going to respect them? And the people who yeah, are attracted by them are not respecting them. Yeah, that's true. They are actually earning respect, which is absolutely not valid. Yeah. yeah. If someone it's, it's is attracted a, a by you, kind of if someone is badly attracted you're by you, you're basically showing your modesty. You're yeah. giving it away. You're, you're giving your dignity it's away. It's similar to prostitution, really. Is it? It sounds funny, but you're selling yourself because. Prostitution, they are attracting people and getting money. Yeah? Is it? And yeah, prostitution, they're attracting people and getting money. This time, they're attracting people with their, they're attracting people with their body, well, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously and they're getting, and they're trying to get respect. We're just trying to guide yeah. you through the so right way. So I guess anyone we're just can trying have to say a choice of what they want to wear, exactly. yeah. but well, we shouldn't anyone. take influence in that. Like, don't get influenced yeah. by it, basically. You have to think deeper about it, because Nobody, I don't think anybody or most people have thought about it in this way. Yeah. Because when you go out wearing something which you think, oh, this is nice and this is cropped up, and people, and you might think that people are going to get attracted, but even if you actually find, if, if people are attracted by you in that way, then you're at actually earning a respect which is not valid at all. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're always, also remember you're it's absolutely sins forbidden and by Allah, Islam. Yeah, and Allah, and Allah knows what you're doing. He knows everything, every single little thing you're doing. So even don't let Shaitan tempt you. Basically, yeah, that's the end that's goal. That's literally overall. Yeah. Don't let Shaitan tempt you. Don't let him. So don't let him tempt you to Allah, eat Allah, fatty Islam. foods constantly. Yeah. But it's not sinful, isn't it? It's not sinful no. to eat. It's just knowing it just where you should stop and where you should limit yourself. It's just to. for you, isn't it? It's for your benefit, your better health. Yeah. So that's out of the way, skinny models and stuff. Let's talk about what are things that things that are halal and haram. Yeah. Everyone knows that McDonald's is haram, right? Yeah. Yeah, but is the one in town a town that's haram? Because like, everyone's Muslim there. I don't think I would know, but I'm sure it is because one McDonald's can't be halal because oh, yeah. they would all need certificates to, oh, you know, certify. Yeah. So, and, and, and the Haribo sweets are haram, right? You're right. right. Yeah, but you do get halal, halal versions of Haribo sweets. Yeah. But, but they have a clear... Recently, isn't it, they started halal Haribo, but the yeah. thing is, they're really small packets, isn't it? Yeah. Remember, the if, you, packets if are a Muslim doesn't buy Haribo sweets, then think about all the loss that Haribo is going to get. So they will try, if every single Muslim doesn't buy Haribo sweets, and if every single Muslim doesn't go to a Haram shop, like um, a Haram KFC or a Haram McDonald's, then every, like, think about all the loss they will have, and they might consider getting halal food for Muslims. Because yeah, at this moment, thing. they are not even a considering... A lot of people are Muslim, isn't it? Sorry. Yeah, but I was... A lot of people are Muslim. People are, more and more people are converting, which is, mashallah, is very good. So, so they're making very a lot of halal things for us. Yeah. It's good. Just important, just just make sure the food you eat is halal and just say bismillah rahman rahim Yeah, and I also, remember you know, when you're... Before we eat. I, I, just, I, just, I just say bismillah rahman rahim I, I think that one's a bit long. 
But yeah, if you if you know it, then you can see it. Yeah. Um, I think I was having a conversation. And after you finish, sorry, so after you finish, just say yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I was having a conversation with one of my teachers yesterday, and she's a Muslim, and she told me how even though McDonald's and Nando's and stuff they would put like halal signs. This, the oil that's used, that will still remain the same. So if you order like a vegetarian pizza, they're not going to be like, oh, let me wash my hands so that I can make a vegetarian pizza for the Muslim. They will just use their same hands, which they used for they're the... Not gonna wa- they're not going to They don't wash their hands. No, because when they're in a rush, they would just put the same kind of um, products they used on, used on the ham for, for, say, yeah. That's how it is. So even though they would put halal and stuff, it's still the same product. So the oil chips everything else so i guess like we should tempt ourselves into going to halal restaurants instead of just saying oh it's halal so we should just go there but you know and also when you're eating so when you're eating somewhere which is haram and say you're wearing a hijab or you're wearing muslim clothes or people might know you that you're muslim and you're representing the Muslim religion there. And Islam. Yeah, and now people who, so some of my friends might be Christian and they're thinking, well, this Muslim does not follow their rules. And they And then you're giving Muslims a bad name, basically, isn't it? That always happens. It always happens, especially around East London. It always happens a lot. You yeah, can't do anything, does but you, in the first place, you have to think that you are repre- representing your religion, not just yourself. So it's better to be a good person and be as good as you can, knowing that you're good. Yeah. So you represent your religion well, and they don't think that this religion is bad. For example, if you're eating, if you're obese, or if you have anorexia, some people, like from another religion, Hinduism, Judaism, Christianity, they might think that um, Muslim people are forcing themselves to eat less or forcing themselves to eat more whilst I'm very in a very good health whilst I'm in this religion. I don't yeah. know if you understand what I mean. Yeah, I get, but, I get um, So even then you're representing your religion and why would a Christian or a Hindu want to convert to a Muslim or even think good about the Muslim religion when they're seeing so many bad things in a Muslim? Yeah. That's true. That is really true. I was thinking about it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But I think people. But unfortunately, we've got a really short time left. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to summarize anything. Yeah, I think everyone should be able to maintain themselves within their diet, um, temptation within clothing, food, and you know, just overall have an outlook positively and think. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And just think about. Because obviously we don't want to die sooner, we want to live more, we don't want to live longer and to do that, to uh, live longer is to be healthy. Yeah, that's fair. And to also follow a good Muslim life is to be yeah. healthy. Yeah. Carbohydrates, fats, minerals, vitamins, water and fibre and iron. Literally, that's all you need and uh, uh, just literally 20 minutes to 30 minutes exercise. We if we try it every single day, if we try yes. it every single day. Because yeah. it says the government told us we should eat five pieces of food every single day. The government, the government told us to do this. And to exercise, at least teenagers today should exercise 60 minutes a day. That's what they told us. But I think it's a bit too much though, isn't it? Okay then. <laughs> Last time you were saying you, you're like, it's not. So um, you think, you, think you, 60 minutes is a lot though. No, but if you count up how many um, days, um, how many time you're awake. So oh. imagine you go to school, come back, uh-huh. and then walk your cat. I don't know. It's <laughs> you're not saying dog because the dogs are home. Yeah, dogs are home, guys. <laughs> because so. you were saying, oh, walk your dog. But, yeah. <laughs> Who walks that cat? <laughs> but yeah, you if you add up the... Yeah. So you walk your cat? Really? Wow. Walk, walk cat. Cat. Muslim halal way. Walk yeah, your cat. Walk your, cats, walk your cat. It's a new fashion. Walking your cat. Well, if you have a cat, like you, isn't it? I don't think many Bengali families yeah. have cats. So unfortunately, that is it for today. And I'm so sorry, guys. Time's up. The show is come to an end. Thank you so much for watching, Out of Focus, and thank you so much for being. I'm so thank grateful. You. Thank you so much, Wanda. I'm very good. I really enjoyed today, and just 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 remember to um just like to to talk about these things really makes me happy, isn't it? Mm to like give of because normally it's all about adults and stuff to like give the voice of youth 
like it's feel really that good. we're considered in the community yeah, yeah it's really good isn't it yeah and also I'm just saying that we've talked to you about a lot of things regarding health consciousness but yeah. it's really up to you exactly if you to do your life yeah. because just keep knowing yeah, you know the how back to of your mind what life. we said isn't it just yeah. just don't forget everything we said just keep some note of what we said and then just use it in your life like now for example you can just do some jumping yeah jacks. do some jumping yeah do some jumping jacks yeah. do 10. just go walk your cats oh <laughs> <laughs> but mom i'm going to walk my cats by literally yeah Oh, go and eat an apple or an orange. I don't even have a cat. I want a cat so badly. Yeah, yeah so do we. we so you don't have a cat? You better talk about cats. We've always wanted one. That's the first thing that pops in. If you think of animals, cats. I know, cats, cats I want cats so badly. Like They're so but cute. They're so cute. Anything like that cats. moves. I kind of wish that. Sorry, I just don't like cats. Mm. No, that's horrible. Yeah, I just don't like cats. Yeah, I don't like cats. No, no, what I'm saying, I love cats. No, I do like the cute ones, the ugly ones I don't like. No, yeah. you can't be pretty. So unfortunately that's it. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you so much for watching.